Good morning, everybody. We got old blue in the shop today. We're done for the week. There was nothing going on today. It's Friday when I'm filming this. I was hoping there would be something to finish off the week today, but uh, we'll be getting going Sunday evening instead. We'll be headed back to Kenora then, grabbing another one, going down to Brainerd again, and then got to be in Duluth for first thing Tuesday morning to grab a load that's coming back here. So I've got my uh, beginning of next week already all written in stone as much as it can be. Things always could always change, you know, nothing's for certain until it is certain. And it's not certain until that freight is on my trailer. So uh, we'll see what happens over the weekend. So it's Friday now. A bit of a long, well, a bit of a long weekend. I get half of today. It's about noon now. I'll get home at about noon on Friday. Uh, then I have today, tomorrow, and then uh, most of Sunday. And then after supper on Sunday, we'll head back to the truck. So let's head home. It was a bit of a slow week, but I think next week is going to be a lot busier. I think it's going to be a lot better next week. So before I go home, uh, I'm getting a new decal, or as my American friends say, decal. Two of them on my truck, Old Blue, today. It's a QR code that'll take people directly to my YouTube channel. My friend Pedro, you guys know him, he's our uh, marketing manager, our marketing coordinator at work. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, we're working together to uh, be in the parade tomorrow. He's on the committee for the Honey Festival, and uh, he hooked me up with one of his friends that makes these decals. So we're getting a new QR code to put on the side of my truck on the back window that when you're driving past me, you can just scan it and it'll take you directly to my YouTube channel. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go pick up the cash now to pay him. And then uh, we'll get that done before I go home. I have to take the truck out to Cleetville. So I'm in Steinbeck now, just gonna swing by the bank real quick. There's gonna be two, one on each side of the truck. It should be big enough that, you know, when you're driving past on the highway, your passenger can scan it. Or if you see me in a parking lot, uh, at a truck stop, people will be like, oh, what's that for? They scan it and they'll be like, oh, look at this guy. I'm going to subscribe to his YouTube channel. I mean, that's that's the idea, right? So, uh, big shout out to uh, Pedro for uh, setting this all up. I'm pretty pumped about it. So, I just got the truck all washed. I almost forgot I had to wash it for the parade tomorrow. That's why I'm all sweaty. Now, I didn't have time to take it out to large car out to Rob today, unfortunately, because that would have been primo if I could, but I did it myself, so it's... It's a do-it-yourself kind of job. It's not, it's not a large car, truck spa kind of job, that's for sure, but uh, I did my best in the time I had. So I got that all cleaned off and rinsed off, and uh, yeah, we're gonna quickly run over to Cleefeld after this, get those decals installed, and then bring the truck back to the shop, get it all ready for tomorrow for the parade. Then we'll go home. There's always something to do, always something to do. I. <laughs> I guess it slipped my mind. I, I knew that the parade was tomorrow. I was all excited about it. the parade's tomorrow, but I I didn't look at the truck. I was about to go home. I was like, oh, I'll go home for the morning, and then uh, you know I'll go get this decal done in the uh, in the evening or in the afternoon. Uh, my wife has plans in the evening, so I got to stay home and watch our son. Uh, so well, I figured I'd go home first. And then I look at the truck. I was like, wait a second. I can't go in the parade looking like that. <laughs> Always something to do. You think you got everything done? No, no, there's always, there's one more thing to do, always. So we're bobtailing over to Claytfelt, which is just maybe like 15 minutes from Steinbach. Quickly get these stickers put on. Turn left onto 216 Road, Manitoba 216 South. Signs for Claytfelt. This road really needs to be four-laned already, too. There's so much traffic. This is the 52 between Steinbach and uh, the 59. I think the 52 all the way to the 59, the 59 all the way to Winnipeg should be four-laned, and I think they have a plan to do it. But uh, I might be wrong, but I think the plan is about a five years. In five years, they're going to start a five-year environmental study. After that, they'll determine the best course of action to build the highway. So in 10 years, they'll start talking about 
building the highway. I do a five-year environmental study. Why? It should take a week to do an environmental study. He talks. It should take a day. How? Why five years? Got to study the environmental impacts if we twin this highway. Really? That's a topic for a whole other vlog. We're gonna we're gonna leave that cat in the bag. We're gonna leave that. Uh, you can go down that rabbit hole if you want, maybe another day. I have a feeling there's gonna be gravel on these roads. I'm not too sure. Oh no, this looks paved. Okay. That's a nice little road, nice little area. I've never actually explored Cleefeld. I've got a lot of friends that live here though. Several people from work live here. Somewhere. There are nice homes in here. Right, this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, there's Pedro. Drive right in here. Okay. All right. So here's the candy for the parade tomorrow in Keystone Western for all the kids at the parade. That was always my favorite part of all the parades. And this is the new QR code on the side of my window done by Max at Canagraphics here in Kleefeld. So now, whenever you're going down the road with me, you can have your passenger, like I was telling you earlier, scan that, and it'll take you directly to my page. Or if you see it at the truck stop, you know, scan that, take it directly to my page, and you can hit that subscribe button. It makes it super easy for you. That is awesome. I really like that. So I'm excited for the parade tomorrow morning. We're gonna be here, uh, I'm gonna be here earlier. There's a breakfast in the morning, and then, Parade starts at 10 a.m. sharp. That's Pedro behind me there. You can say, say hi, Pedro. You guys know him. Hello, hello. <laughs> we got two cameras going here. Max is working on the other side, but doing a fantastic job. Okay. Five minutes. All right. I think that should be big enough to be able to scan it from it, it, even a couple of lanes over. Yeah, it doesn't look obnoxious, eh? No. I was really worried about that. No, well, it had to be big enough so that you guys could scan it from even a couple of lanes over. So if I'm on a four-lane highway or, like, three lanes, and you're over here and your passenger has their phone out, they could zoom in just a little bit on the truck and scan it. From on the road or at the truck stop if you see it parked like a tr couple of trucks down i didn't want people to have to walk all the way up to my truck and scan it right up close i wanted them to do it from in there because that's awkward for people to do i'd feel awkward doing that too to some strange guy's truck like going right up there and scanning their qr code this way you, they can just sit in their truck scan the code and see what that's all about check out my channel obviously subscribe I've been meaning to do something like this for a while, but my friend Pedro put this all together for me. He put me in contact with Max here at Canna Graphics, and I did a great job. Got it done fast, too. We just talked about this earlier this week, and uh, it's Friday now. And there it is on the truck already. All ready for the parade tomorrow. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I think that'll bring a lot of new people to the channel. What do you guys think? Now, I don't know what it is about these trees back here, but they're changing color already. It's not fall time yet, is it? Look at those trees back there. They're turning yellow. I wonder if it's because of the heat. I don't know. Our willow tree's having some problems here too with, uh, oh, what's it called again? Some kind of black fungus. 
We've already treated it once. We might have to treat it again this weekend. Look what it's doing to the leaves. It's losing a lot of leaves. You can see them on the ground here. But the new leaves, like it's still growing, and we've talked to the tree experts in our area where we bought this tree, and uh, they say it's perfectly fine. The tree's not going to die. It's just, it's got a fungus. So we, like I said, sprayed it with the antifungus, but uh, it's still not looking the greatest. I hope it's going to bounce back. So Britt is at a movie tonight with her friend Sabrina in town, and so I'm in charge. I'm the captain. Right, boys? Gotta make sure this ship stays afloat. I gotta feed the dogs right now. Diesel is on special pain meds. His back hips aren't doing very good at all. So we've tried him on two different treatments already. Uh, we're gonna have to try him on something else yet. But uh, his hips aren't doing good at all. It's his, it's his back ones. He's having a lot of trouble. So we've now went and bought uh, a ramp for the front door here. I'll show you it once we have it constructed, but it's for these two steps here. Diesel has a lot of trouble just getting up these two steps. And sometimes he can't do it and he just collapses, like his back end collapses. I'm gonna help him up. And, and there's no way he can uh, jump up onto the bed anymore. There's no way he can get in the semi-truck anymore. He's, uh, he's just retired. He's been retired for a while now already, but he's definitely... Uh, Not doing so hot. His body is... His body's old. He's turning 13 years old next week. So by the time you watch this, he'll already be 13 years old. He's an old man now. And his body is definitely showing it in his rear end. So, kind of sad to see. We'll go say hi to him now, why not? Diesel. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Likes to lay in the carpet here because it's softer. And then how are you doing? How are you doing, old man? Hey. Doing all right? My hips hurt. My joints hurt. Everything hurts. I'm an old man now. Old man weasel, just that's what you can call me. I used to be the diesel weasel, now I'm just old man weasel. Look at all these wisdom hairs you got on you, eh? Look, look, look at this. Remember, these used to all be beige and brown. Yeah, they want to get as much diesel as they can yet. Right? So, his back hips here, even me just lightly touching them, he gets, gets nervous right away, right? I'm not going to do anything. Don't worry. And his hair is changing color. It's turning to like a reddish color now. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And, uh, Diesel has been in my life for 13 years. I got him when he was uh, 10 weeks old. He was my road partner for nine years. We were together 24-7. He was in the truck with me. And then I met Britt, and he started getting older, started showing signs of age. And so we started uh, leaving him at home. And eventually he fully retired once we realized he couldn't get in and out of the truck anymore. Even with those steps that help him up, he, he can't do that. Can't get up there, can't make it. Lots and lots of videos. If you go to my channel, uh, click my username down below, it'll take you to my channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs. Go to the playlists and you'll be able to see the playlists all the way back to 2014 and even beyond that back to 2011 when Diesel was just a young pup. Dude, man, you were on the counters, man. I couldn't control you. No one can control you, Weezu. Yes, you you wild, Weezu. Yes, you were. Now I'm just old, man, Weezu. Yeah, you don't do much, much of anything right now. You just lay and that's the whole point man you're retired we've got a lot of memories together we've gone to newfoundland on the ferry many times yeah we went up to yukon remember that yeah we went to california a couple of times and washington up the west coast all over the united states all over canada Lots of memories, and we have them all on video. 
That's the great thing about these vlogs. They're, uh... Sure, it's a vlog, so you can follow my daily life, but for me, it's like a time capsule. It's a, it's a journal where I can uh, go back in time and relive all of our memories together. All on camera so that no one will ever forget you. You are going to live forever on the internet, man. So we're going to get him to Christmas and hopefully another Christmas after that yet, but uh, definitely to this Christmas. We're going to make it this Christmas the best one ever, just in case if there's not another one for him after this one. Right. I hope there's many more yet though.